Good morning, Pioneer Nation. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. It is time for the Pioneer Update. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank. They are people first, and that's wonderful because here at the Batesville School District, we are students first. This beautiful Wednesday morning, I have the principal at our high school, Mr. Kevin Bledsoe. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? We are good. It is practice for graduation today. It's starting to get a little exciting. Yes, today is the day, so we're going to line them up, put them in their orders, walk them through what's going on, practice saying some names. Hopefully I get all those right on Friday and we'll do my <laughs> absolute very best. We're gonna do, it's going to be a lot of practice for me on that, but um, today is a big day. It's a big day for the seniors. It's a great day to begin celebrating their accomplishments. You bet. And we're so proud of this this group of kids. They are a wonderful bunch, uh, high achieving, and it's just a fun day too. It's, it's great to celebrate. First Community Bank is going to be feeding us, so we're thankful for that as well. And of course, we take care of all the things we need to take care of business-wise before we give them their diplomas. Yeah, so First Community Bank is going to be out there this afternoon, and they're going to be grilling some hot dogs for our, our kiddos. And uh, they're going to be able to get their cords and their ribbons and all this good stuff they're going to need for graduation. And then they'll be able to grab a good meal and a chance to talk with friends and sit down and celebrate, celebrate the, the, the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. You know, I'm under the impression in Pioneer Nation that you can't graduate unless you have a call sinks hot dog. Like, truly, I think that that's just a rite of passage. And so Absolutely. <laughs> that's what they call them. They, they call them during football games and everything else. They're, they are pioneer dogs. I love it. Let's talk about traffic and transportation for graduation, because I know that that's really on people's minds with the construction. But we have a solution, and I know that our team has worked incredibly hard to make sure we've got people accommodated. Yeah, so in case you haven't noticed, they're, 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 they're building a, a small building out there beside our, our high school. And um, uh, actually starting to put some steel up uh, uh, yesterday and today. And so it may look like the campus is kind of divided by this construction site. We do have some access points. But um, what we're going to do, we have approximately 85 or 90 handicap spots. If you'll, and when you approach the, the stadium, if you'll pro approach towards a new parking lot, we'll have some signage. They're in a couple of different spots. Uh, but they are as absolutely as close to the stadium as we can get our handicapped folks. And then in that, also in that new parking lot, we're going to have, give or take, about 90 extra parking spots out there. And then beyond that, uh, everything else in front of the high school and junior high is going to be open for parking. We will have, uh, the, we worked with the city. They've been gracious. They're going to have the Christmas train is going to be out there. But they're going to be uh, carrying people down to the stadium beside the field house and dropping them off at the stadium towards the visitor side. If you park in any of the parking lots in front of the high school or junior high, if you'll just walk towards the high school or the gym or the junior high, somebody is going to stop and pick you up. We will also have some overflow parking, and this is something we're trying new this year because we know it's going to be crowded. It's going to be crowded on the hill with traffic. So in that parking lot right in front of the gym, buses will pull up. You can get on school bus, and they will take you, and they will drop you off at the gate of the stadium. And then when you leave, you can get on that school bus, and they will take you and drop you off all the way back at the, at the community center. What time does everyone need to expect for graduation to begin? We're going to play pomp and circumstance at 8 o'clock, and graduates are going to be walking on the field. Uh, we're going to start at 8, and we're going to try and get our hats tossed by 9 o'clock. We're proud of these students, and we're so excited to see them walk across that stage. And We just hope everyone comes out and celebrates these kids, and we appreciate everything you and your staff. We cannot forget about our custodians and our maintenance. Everyone works so diligently. Yes, this is the biggest event of the year. This is, this is by far the biggest event we do every year. We thank you so much and uh, just congratulations on your first on your first graduation. We'll get that under your belt. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All righty. Well, as we like to say, it's always a great day to be a pioneer.